Now, one nice advantage here is that I'm protected by these trees. And so I could tie this tent down with these loops here, plus on the ground, but I feel like just um, securing the tent to the ground will be enough for the night because of how tucked in I am. There's a little vent here. Allows oxygen to get to the stove. I'll have to open it on the other side too, but air will rush in through here tonight, feed the stove and keep this place nice and ventilated.
it's getting cold. You can really see my breath starting to come now. It's gonna drop hard here in a bit. But I can already feel heat coming out of this tent and I've got it wide open as I'm working. Now I've gotta move a bunch of stuff in for the night. I'm gonna get nice and comfortable. I got a cot, I got a nice folding table and a chair, and I'm gonna make chicken stew tonight, which I haven't done in a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna have some fresh bread with that and some butter. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. But first things first, I wanna get a pot of water on so I can have some coffee. Double walled, keeping all the cold air out. Gonna make a huge difference in terms of heat retention in here. One of the great things about a cot, and I've said this before, is you can put stuff underneath your cot, right? It actually makes more room for your tent. And I just love sleeping on a cot. I find it comfortable and it beats sleeping on the floor. in here so I'm gonna have a little breeze coming in through here I love I love these tents This place is awesome. Wow, I love the space. And now my kettle's ready. <laughs> this is nice. I'm all set up. It's like a little cabin, to be honest. Got a table, got a chair, got my cot, got my stove. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Cheers.
So you want your sleeping bag to puff out as much as possible before you climb into it. And this sleeping bag that I'm using tonight is literally called the Beast. It's a monster. It's a minus 40 sleeping bag. It's got layers. It's heavy. It's not a backpacking sleeping bag, that's for sure. It's like a base camp. And I just want comfort tonight. I just want to have the most comfortable, lovely sleep possible. Yes. Got this lamp here that doubles as a fan. I'll, uh, that's gonna be a really nice light later tonight. And so what happens is the fan blows the heat that's rising back down into the tent. It's a really smart idea. And I'm just gonna hook it right here. Like that. And then I'll bring this over, hook it back in again, and I'm good to go. I think a chicken stew is better than a beef stew. Now I love beef stew, but I make chicken stew, right? I'll make it three or four times a year, whereas beef stew, I don't necessarily make it. So what about you guys? Do you prefer chicken stew over beef stew or is there like another stew? I like lamb, I do like lamb and um, I love pea, pea soup obviously, but when it comes to stews, I think chicken homemade chicken is the king now i would love for this to have dumplings in it but i'm just going to go with these uh, baguettes that i toasted straight on on the stove oh, man. just look at that oh my gosh This is a sweet, sweet spot. And it's really, really, really comfortable. I would actually say it's a bit too warm. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push this down here. Just close it a bit. And I think that will set a beautiful temperature in here for the evening. Supposed to drop another five to 10 degrees Celsius, bring it down to about minus 30 Celsius, minus 20 Fahrenheit tonight.
amazing night. Amazing night in this tent. Really warm, like super warm. Got down to minus 24 last night. That's the current temperature right now outside. And that is, is fine. You can see it feels like minus 32 with the wind chill. So that's not bad. I wanted it to get to minus 30. I really hoped it would. But here we are, and I, I can't complain. It's like 36 degrees Celsius here. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit in this tent right now. Oh, the ravens are going nuts this morning. It's almost like there's some sort of flight path here for the ravens. They're just flying over nonstop, and they're making lots and lots of noise. And their wings are so loud. They're... That's what they sound like. And they do this. Um, I believe ravens have the loudest wings of all birds. I'm not sure. And I believe owls have the quietest. This stove was just perfect last night. It was a wonderful sleep. Having a big, puffy, warm sleeping bag, man, you cannot beat it. You can't. This was like just a nice little getaway. And I really like this tent a lot. It might actually be my favorite of all the tents that I've used from RBM. My main tent, like my main camp, I really wanted to get out there this weekend. My plan up until two nights ago was to walk there across the lakes. But the guy who lives on my lake said it's just not safe. He said, you know, he, he thought it was going to be, we had been talking all week and he said, it's just not there, man. He said, you gotta, you're going to have to wait. <clears throat> he wanted to walk it yesterday and, uh, said it was just too risky. He wasn't going to do it. So I said, well, I've got this beautiful tent that I can, I can take out into the woods in the meantime. Uh, but I should be there next weekend. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there because we do have quite a bit of snow for this time of year and I just want to get there and get the snow cleared off the top of the tent. I have a feeling it's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of heavy snow on top of that tent. You can see where my stove was. It's actually really soft. And then right here, ice. But yeah, that's how warm it was in there. Well, that's it. All packed up and uh, ready to go. So yeah, this was another fun one. Out camping, just enjoying myself, getting away from it all, being in nature. You just can't beat it. You cannot beat breathing in cold, fresh air surrounded by snow. It's the best feeling. It really is. So anyway, I, I had a great time here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, uh, I certainly did. And uh, if you guys like this, please hit like. That would be, that would be great. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, if you made it through to this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. 
I'll be back really soon.